Okay, thanks for stopping back. Um, my name is Amy and I'm going to show you today how to paint a design on the crackled surface that I created. And um, I made a video probably about a week or so ago uh, showing you how to crackle glass. Now I'm going to show you how to, to paint a rose design on the glass pieces. Starting off with the glass plate and then I'm going to show you on the actual uh, wine glass. I am using wicker white, berry wine, forest moss, and thicket for my colors today. I'm going to get started using a larger flat brush. It's a three-quarter inch flat brush and I'm going to use that to actually do my entire design from the actual flower to the leaves. Then I'll go to a smaller one to do the glassware because we don't really need that large of a, a uh, brush for that. Alright, so what I'm doing is using the berry wine and the white and loading my brush with those two colors and I'm going to start with my top petal for my flower And again, this is a little bit easier on glass when you can turn it as opposed to having to have a stationary piece if you're doing a wet wall or something that's not easy to move. I'm left-handed. Keep in mind that if you're right-handed, you might be starting your, your petals in a different direction, the opposite of what you're seeing me do here. A lot of times I have a tendency to do things in a different direction because I am left-handed as opposed to somebody that's right-handed. You don't often realize that when you're left-handed until you know, somebody points it out. Wow, you're doing that different than me. Well, I didn't even realize it. But yep, I guess I am. Again, this is just a quick, very quick demonstration just to show you how easy it is to actually paint on the glass with a nice little background using the using the crackle medium. And also make your glassware a little bit more durable because you do have more than one layer. Makes it a little bit more opaque. And like you, uh, you can tell, I'm doing this very quickly, trying to keep the, the demo from being too long. Especially since I'm going to be doing it on both the glass. The, uh, Add one more petal to the side here.
And there you go. Well, you can add more to it if you want to add some buds and that type of thing. But again, I'm just trying to keep it relatively simple and quick so that my videos aren't too long. Don't want to bore you. Now I'm going to go ahead and, and put the design on the actual glass. And hopefully I can get a good shot here. I guess so bear with me here. I'm still trying to get used to doing videos. And just keep in mind too when you're painting on glass, and I oops, I know that I keep saying this, but if you are going to be baking glassware, it's real important that you place the glass in a cool oven. And it's very important to remove it from a cool oven. The reason being is you don't want to have the temperature of your glass changing too quickly because that is actually what causes breakage. Again, I'm using Faux Guard enamels. One thing I like about these is that they can air dry to cure. If you do that though, keep in mind it does take 21 days for them to be fully cured. Meaning that, not that you can't use the glass or that it's not going to be uh, dry, to, dry to the touch because it will. It means that you should actually use or hand wash them instead of using the dishwasher for at least the 21 days. Now there are different types of roses that you can paint. You know, I just, this is kind of my standard one that I use on a lot of things, my hangers, my bridal hangers that I sell. And I'll put little buds and stuff in it, too. But like I said, today I'm just doing it very simply, just to kind of show you. And again, you can go clear around your glass, just do the design on the front of the glass. It's, it's really up to you as to how, what design you want to have created. You know, you can do a set that's very similar. You can do them where they're different so that everybody knows which glass is theirs. It's really up to you. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good day.